What you guys got another video here for you. This one's a ransomware removal video, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to remove this uh, Wilcom and uh, Windows update. As you see on the boot up, it just gives you this big uh, black screen and then a, and an actual ransom on the screen here. Now this is the new version, and uh, this is a Windows XP, but it does infect Windows Vista and also Windows 7, Windows 2000. And we're going to be showing you a way of removing that today with Kaspersky uh, Rescue CD. So what we're going to do here is reboot the system, completely disables the system altogether. I'll try and get into safe mobile networking just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to quickly reboot. Okay, so we're at safe mobile networking. And uh, what I'm going to do is try uh, safe mobile networking here. As you can see it doesn't work. I'm going to reboot the system again. Try to get in safe mode again. Okay, let's try uh, safe mode itself. Same thing. One more last chance saloon. We're going to go for the command prompt. Again, we've got another blue screen. So, what we're going to do is use Kaspersky Rescue CD to deal with this one. So, let's reboot the system into Kaspersky uh, Rescue CD 10. Okay, so I've got my CD in. I'm going to choose my language English here. Click on 1 for the agreement. Now you can either do text mode or graphic mode. I'm going to go for graphic mode in this case. Now they've obviously just uh, upgraded this Kaspersky. Okay, let's mount the drive here. I'm going to continue this. Now, as I said, this is an awesome piece of software uh, for removing malware. It gives you full access to the uh, computer as well. Um, it's fully upgraded, as you can see, so I'm going to leave mine as it is. If yours isn't, you need to click update um, and get the latest uh, definitions. I'm going to close this for now. Now, as you can see, we've got some options open to us now. I've had a couple of people saying to me they can't get into uh, Windows Unlocker and uh, it's not listed here. But there is two types of uh, Kaspersky. You can get the actual Windows Unlocker CD itself or you can get the Rescue CD. They both say the Rescue CD 10 and I'll show you how to get into Windows Unlocker. So the first thing you want to do is open up a terminal and then you want to type Windows Unlocker all one word like this and then push enter. Then you get an option uh, to select and then I'm going to select one here and what that's going to do is unlock windows and as you can see it's done a scan and it's tried to fix some issues with the system as you can see here now, as you can see it's found this file here it's changed the user init file uh, the actual ransomware has changed the user in it file and this just saves me having to manually do this myself in the registry uh, it's done it for me but if I didn't run Windows Unlocker um, I would have had to uh, do this myself and I'll show you what I mean so what we're going to do here is uh, close this off now because that's done its job again we've got registry editor here I'm going to open this up this is a great tool um, for getting rid of uh, malware and stuff like that from the registry again this gives us full access to the uh, registry so we're going to go to local machine here and we're going to go software we're going to come down to Microsoft and what we want to do here is come down to Windows and then current version and then you want to make sure you're looking for policies there which is here and then look in system and you should see um, some registry keys okay and you can see there delete uh, disable reg edit and this will actually disable the registry and task manager and some other parts of the uh, windows so you can't use them so we need to remove those so I'm just going to quickly delete these from the system okay so once you've done that you want to come down to run as well just to make sure there's nothing inside the run box there 
and I did say a win NT there I wanted to go into as well so this is the one I want to check after Windows win NT current version now the user init file is here now if I didn't run win uh, Windows Unlocker I would have had to do this and you can see here this has been changed by uh, Kaspersky now but by default if that ransomware was on here you'd have had the ransomware added on the end uh, the actual path for the ransomware to run okay so every time you boot up you'll get that issue and that's how they work so what we want to do here is before I continue with the registry editor I'm going to go into the C drive there will be some more um, files that we need to remove from the system I'm going to go into the Windows directory and then System32 takes a bit of time to load up the files and once we've done there what we want to do is come down to where the files are and we're looking for an actual ransomware file inside here this looks uh, a bit dodgy okay we've got um, today's date in there as well so I'll keep that in mind let me just put date in here so let's get the way down the bottom so as you can see this file we recognized is definitely the file that uh, we need to remove otherwise it will it will start back up again so I'm going to delete this file now, if you don't feel comfortable deleting the file you could rename it I'm just going to delete this file and move it to trash and once I've done that let's just reboot the system and see how we get on and see if we can get it booted up and if we can we can then uh, do some registry edit stuff so let's quickly restart okay so now we're here we're going to be seeing this part here and this is because the windows crashed because we had to full shut it down so I'm just going to start windows normally okay and as you can see the ransom is now removed from the system it's not loading up which is good but what I would do here now is run some scans and we're going to do that with Malwarebytes always get the latest updates I'm going to run a full scan here quickly ok so that's the scan now finished let's have a look at the results here and as you can see some of the places I was in the registry we could have fixed those when we was in Kaspersky um, but permissions mainly uh, have been changed but you get the general idea how to remove those types of things and then we're going to remove these off the system I'm not going to restart just yet but you should restart okay one well, next thing I want to do is Hitman Pro going to give that a quick blast and we're just going to remove all this junk okay let's reboot
Okay, we've got Task Manager all back now, as you can see. Let's see if we've got RegEdit. We've got Registry Editor up as well. So pretty much the system should be back up and running. Um, but you, if you've got other infections on there, you may need to do other uh, scans on the system to make sure it's clear. Uh, empty all your e-store points and then create a new one after you've finished all your scanning. And you should be pretty much... Uh, good to go now someone did ask me how you get these types of infections on the system well the way you get them is mainly through emails they give you an email and uh, there's a live link there you click on it and next thing you know you're infected with uh, ransomware so that's a common way of getting them it's not the only way but it's one of the common ways okay so I hope you enjoyed these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and share your support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoyed them and, uh, and I'll be making some more videos again real soon. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.